about this whole ideal organization scam, which we are going to get into today on multiple levels. Many years ago, David Miscavige came up with this grand plan. Hey, so I'm repackaging books and I'm making Scientologists buy them again. I am taking Scientologists at the top of the bridge to total freedom. And I'm sending them back down to the bottom and making them do it again. Doing the purification rundown again, making money that way, getting people to donate to our multiple front groups and the International Association of Scientologists. What is another way we could make even more money? Huh? Hmm. Let me see. What if? What if we got Scientologists to pay for buildings and pay to renovate them and we own them? Now there's a scam. Billions of dollars in real estate potentially is on the table. This ideal organization thing was born. Back in the day, prior to this, it was all about Scientology organizations reaching the size of St. Hill, which was the organization that L. Ron Hubbard ran in England, in, in, in East Grinstead, that's still there. So you got to understand a little bit of the Scientology history Pre before it was all about L. Ron Hubbard said, get your orgs to be the size of old St. Hill. So when St. Hill was in its prime, it had a certain number of staff. It was delivering a certain number of auditing. And L. Ron Hubbard said, if we get all the orgs on the planet to this size, we will release OT 9 and 10, which we all now know does not exist and never did. But that was the carrot. That was not really going well. So David Miscavige and company came up with this idea. What if we made them ideal organizations in beautiful buildings, right? Forget about actually delivering Scientology services. Let's just make it all about the building and, and all of itself. Let's just put lipstick on a pig. And because if we build it, they will come. This is what the scam was. Well, back in the day, this video is well over 14 years old. But here's the thing about it. I'm going to share a couple clips from it because it lays out this ideal organization scam when it first started. And it shows you multiple, you know, celebrities from Scientology who were promoting it. And this was sent and shared with Scientologists. But it really gives you a look into what they're trying to do because Chicago opening ideal organization as they call it, right? Austin, same thing. Spain, all these different places where they're opening these ideal organizations and making it seem like Scientology is really expanding. So let's take a look at this. Ideal orgs for me are a perfect example of what Scientology represents. It is the symbol of our church in your community. It's a place where people can achieve what they want to achieve in their lives. They have a chance. It is a mecca. It's a base of certainty. And you know when you walk through those doors, you're going to go clear. You're going to go OT. And you know that you'll be okay, no matter what. An ideal org is the kind of org that your friends deserve, that your folks deserve. That's the goal, to be able to call up any family member and be able to tell them there's an org in your neighborhood. Oh my God, I get verklempt. Everything about an ideal org disseminates to people. It takes the guesswork out of it completely. If you have a friend... They've got a problem, say, hey, I want to talk to you about that. I want you to come with me. We're going to go down to my church. We're going to have lunch. Oh, they've got a great place to eat there. All you have to do is bring them in. You walk them in, they look at the panels, they look at the displays. And they see the little videos, and because they're so short, it's like they're so easy to go through. By the end of that, he knows what Scientology is. It won't be watered down, it won't be all there is, and they're going to get actual Scientology. So that's what these ideal orgs are going to need to your average guy. He's going to get something that's going to change his life, bam, forever. Okay, so check this out. So here's the crusade. We're making all orgs ideal by 2010. 2010? By 2010. This is the task that's been given to the field. That's you, that's me. We all have a responsibility to do something. I will zoom.
my finger crumb. Um, yeah, guys, I'm by myself. Stop applauding, I'm ready to scream.